Covert Seduction Checkmate. The other day, my friend and I were hanging out. We'd taken an Uber to a bar. Our plan was to have a few drinks and then from there figure out the rest of our evening. But after a couple of drinks, we decided to just stay there. Supposedly, it was going to get crowded later. And they had a few foosball tables. And later that night, there was going to be a foosball tournament. And they had some decent appetizers. And the drink prices were cheap. And we were very lazy, so we decided to chill there. That's when we noticed this group of girls. We noticed them by their peculiar body language. One girl was doing all the talking. The rest of them were intently listening. But the girls that were listening were only listening. They weren't asking any questions or even interjecting. Their eyes were wide. Their faces were in a seeming state of disbelief. We didn't want to be rude, so we slowly moved closer, sitting at a table next to them. We borrowed a chessboard from the bartender so we could be pretending to be focused on our chess game while really eavesdropping on these girls. The story she was telling was intense, about this guy she met that allegedly went to this seminar on how to use hypnosis to create desire. Not just to be able to create sexual desire, but to create deeper desires that you can't explain. He just walked up to her and said he wanted to try something. He said he learned this at a seminar, but he didn't believe it would ever work. And she seemed like a nice enough person. She said he told her it was based on a deep and strange sounding language. Language that didn't make sense. It was based on symbolism and metaphorical archetypes. The instructor had, through many years of research, created a series of sounds that are related to ancient symbols. And through tons of reverse engineering disguised as marketing studies, he'd created a series of sounds that would create deep desires associated with various instincts. That you could use this to create deep buying desire. That you could use this to create deep romantic desire. That you could use this to create deep sexual desire. That you could use this to create deep intelligence. That you could use this to implant false memories that you could use this to remove real memories. Since he'd only been to the beginning seminar where they create desires based on the most basic of instincts, he asked her if he could try it on her and she said yes. Then she told them that she doesn't remember anything after that, only that she believes that she was able to enjoy the most romantic fantasy ever, that she was able to forget time and simply enjoy this, that she was able to forget everything and simply enjoy this. According to what she told them, she never left the place where he started talking to her. And before he started talking to her, he told her to start the timer on her phone. And it had only been about seven minutes. But she said her experience had been a few years of the most wonderful, most erotic fantasy ever. And then he told her he's definitely going to go to the advanced seminar. Because in the advanced seminar... You can learn how to create deep romantic longings and then connect them to yourself. In the advanced seminar, you can learn how to create deep sexual desire and attach those desires to yourself. So the target in which you choose to install sexual desires, they will see you as their fantasy dream come true. And there are many different levels to create massive buying desire, to create massive telepathic abilities and to install temporary understandings of post-chaos theory mathematical understanding. I finally moved my pawn to C4 just in case she or they noticed we hadn't moved our chess pieces. Then he moved his knight to C6. After that, we pretended we knew what we were doing, copying whatever we could from the internet. They kept talking, we kept drinking, and pretty soon I lost by a completely unexpected checkmate that I still don't understand.